Okay, something that's always interested me is to see exactly how much pressure we can create with our little Lincoln grease gun. This is just an average grease gun. It's an older grease gun. Uh, it's heavy duty, but I wanted to see how much pressure we can create. So I rigged up this gauge right here with just a little bit of a uh, hardware underneath it and a zert so we can actually get an accurate reading of exactly how much pressure it's created just by an average grease gun. Um, I've, I've been told that we can get three, 4,000 pounds out of this when I was back in the industry. We, we'd run into bearings that just wouldn't take grease, which generally means we needed to replace them. But first, let me show you how I filled this so that we can get an accurate reading because we don't want any air inside of our actual plumbing here going up to our gauge. Okay, so what I did, or had to do, was make sure that this is all filled solid with liquid. So we just took a little bit of hydraulic oil, filled it up. That's filled. Made sure that our Zerk, or Zert, depending on how or who you pronounce this little, it's just a grease Zerk, or Zert, and screw that in. So in other words, this is full solid with grease, that's full solid with liquid otherwise. You won't be able to compress, a, a air doesn't compress very well, it'll give you like spongy breaks. We don't want that, we want an accurate reading. So now that that's full, we will put the grease gun to it and see exactly how much pressure we have. Okay, so here we are. I got everything ready to rock, I got my grease gun. Put the old grease gun on the nipple. And I'm just gonna start one hand in it here. Let me get this out of the way. Now let's see how much pressure we got. 1,000, really easy, 1,000. And you go up to 2,000, that's a little harder to do. Right there's about as far as I want to go. If it's just sitting on the table and I'm one hand and holding the, holding the nozzle and pumping it, that's how far I can go, like about 2,500. Let's see how far we can go both hands. I want to see what truly happens. Oh, that's about 35-ish almost, 32.50. Oh yeah, we're at 4,000. That's about as far as I can go without really stressing out. So we're looking at about, ooh, 4,200-ish. That's a lot of pressure, just from a, an average grease gun. Now this is gonna squirt out here when I take this off, I have a feeling. Oh yeah, there it goes. <clears throat> now we used to have a lot of bearings that didn't take grease, and usually we had to replace them because you can't have any downtime in a factory, if you know what I mean, and they did not want to have a bearing getting hogged out. But wipe its nose, get all that grease off there, I'll show you where we're at. Right about there, that's a lot of pressure. Not to relieve the pressure, I'll just... Oh, where's my wrench right here? To relieve the pressure, I'll just put the wrench on the right way, and there it goes. Just... Let, let it naturally come out of the out of the threads there. So that's it. So we got 4,200 pounds out of just the average Lincoln grease gun. That's a lot of pressure. So you're really putting a lot of pressure to bear on this, on your bearings and whatever you're lubing. So that was kind of interesting. I've always wondered how much, and there it is. That's proof that you get 4,200 pounds if you really, really put some effort into it. So this is Hap for Hap Around the House. I hope you liked the little video. It was fun to do. If you do like it, hit the like button, comment, and consider subscribing to our channel. We'll see you next time on Hat Perhaps Around the House.